Hey y'all. Okay, so remember I was telling y'all I was gonna tell y'all about why I was wearing these dang on glasses and they be irritating me. They get on my nerves. So I'm getting LASIK surgery. Um or I'm getting refractive surgery. I don't know if I'm getting PRK, PKR, whatever it's called, or LASIK yet, but I'm getting refractive surgery done. Um, initially, when you do your refractive surgery thing, right, you have to you have to be cleared. Like you have to get the the pre exam stuff done. Um, so I went to go do all of that back in December, um, and it just went left. So let me start from the beginning, right? So obviously, I'm active duty military. Um, so the refractive surgery for us is free if you want it and if you qualify you can get refractive surgery luckily for me the refractive surgery center one of the few you know there's only like a couple of air force bases that that does refractive surgery on their installation and i'm at an installation where they do do it so i don't have to go tdy anywhere um which is on temporary duty i don't have to travel anywhere to go get it done i can get it done right here so um when i first got here i did initially apply but they were like well if you plan on getting pregnant in the next year or if you um have been nursing within the past six months you can't get it and at the time i did want to have the second child michaela um i was like actively trying right so well not currently actively trying but we was planning okay so boom um i was like okay well then i guess i'll wait I'll see if you know the little second child work out and then um, if it do I'll just wait a year and get the surgery after that so um, that's the path I took everything took a little bit longer because I started this journey back in like 2015 when I was going through this everything took a little bit longer because it's already 2022 <laughs> um, so I'm finally doing it though so I went back in December to go get my initial little qualification or whatever done and they was like uh how long was you out your contacts i was like for 14 days like y'all told me to be and then she was like well your eyes are not doing well so i had to wait another i think another week or so like that and um go back and get the exam done again so i went back the second time and again, it was like, how, like, when did you take out your contacts? I, I took mine out December 5th when y'all told me, like when I made these appointments, I'm sure, like I want this, this surgery done. So I ain't doing nothing to jeopardize that. I ain't had my contacts in, but she still was like, well, you know, your readings ain't doing what they supposed to do. Basically. I don't know what was going on. So she sent me to a specialist. So I go to the specialist and the specialist is like, Ooh, your reading is giving glaucoma. <laughs> was like what are we talking about here glaucoma like i think i'm a little bit too young for all that so um so i i did the the first and then i had to end up doing like a follow-up on it um she gave me my readings and then she did the test for actual glaucoma i don't got glaucoma i just got that eyes um and yeah so eventually after all of my tests and everything like that she did clear me to get the surgery so my refractive surgery is scheduled for the 28th 28th y'all like that the 28th so my refractive surgery is scheduled for the 28th which is um this thursday and right now i am just going in to pick up my prescriptions um because I don't, I don't know what the prescriptions are actually, but I'm going in to pick up my prescriptions right now. I know some of them is eye drops. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super excited. I've been in glasses since December. I've been wearing like glasses and contacts since over a decade. I can't remember how old I was when I got my first pair of glasses, but I remember being pretty young. I was either in third or fourth grade when I got my first pair of glasses. So um, and I'm pretty sure I've been wearing glasses ever since then. Like parts of times I can't remember. I'm like, damn, did I have glasses on? Pretty sure I did. Um, I know for a fact, I rem strongly remember wearing glasses from sixth grade on. Um, but I don't really know if I had them on in fifth grade. Either way, been wearing glasses forever, wearing contacts forever. And I'm a poor contact user. I will say it, I don't care. I'm really bad at wearing contacts. So, um... That probably was over the issue. I wore my contact too damn long. Even though I took them out and gave it the 14 days that they needed. Um, it was probably just my extensive use of contacts. 
um, that was also an issue. So anyway, um, I'm about to go in and get my prescriptions now. It, today's Monday, by the way. I'm getting my prescriptions now. Um, I also have to do a pregnancy test. So I'm one of the papers said 72 hours. And then another paper said 48 to 24 hours before your surgery. So I'm going to just go tomorrow just to be safe um, and get it then. Because tomorrow, which is Tuesday, will be the 48-hour mark. Um, and then after that... I just go in on Thursday and get the stuff done. Um, I've been taking vitamin C. They also told me to take vitamin C, right? So I've been taking vitamin C. I'm going to put a little thing up here so y'all can see how much dang on vitamin C they want me to take. They want me to take 500 milligrams of vitamin C twice a day, starting last week. And I was like, at first, because I wasn't Monday through like Thursday, I wasn't taking the right amount. I bought the little gummies, right? The gummies is big as hell, first of all. As you can see, these some big gummies. Like, these is like, these bigger than Sour Patch Kids, okay? They big and they strong and they just like candy. Like, like orange candy. So, at first, I was like, oh, this is easy. I'm going to take two in the morning and I take another two at the end of the day. That's what I was doing Monday Thursday. I read the paper back again and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be taking eight a day. <laughs> so, um, because one serving is two gummies right and that's only 250 milligrams but i needed 500 twice a day so i gotta take four gummies twice a day which is eight in total um and i'm breaking it up because i ain't finna take eight big ass gummies in one sitting that's too much candy because <laughs> basically these is candy so anyway yeah i'm about to go do that tomorrow we're going to do the pregnancy test and then um and by do that, I mean I'm about to walk in here and get my prescriptions. Tomorrow, I'm going to take the pregnancy test. And then the surgery on Thursday. They ain't tell me nothing when he called and he was like, all right, let's get you scheduled for some surgery. I was like, heck yeah, boy, let's go. He was like, they're going to tell you what you're going to do on the day of. I was like, what? Um, but yeah, so um, my husband also got the surgery, though. He got his back in 2017. Um, he got PKR. Is it PK or PR PRK? PRK. He got PRK. Um, and both eyes and he did his like again like I said back in 2017 and in that center you can actually record it behind the glass so I'm hoping that he has the day off and he doesn't just drop me off so that he can stay and record the process because they let you do that from like the little glass viewing area they let you see how the surgery is done um, which is really cool because you can see like the eyeballs open the thing um, I'm very nervous but I'm very much excited so let me go get this these prescriptions. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. Do I need a ticket? Do I need to get a ticket? I know that I don't want to pick up. It's kind of confusing. Is it activated? Yeah, all right so we back in action i'm back in the car hold on okay so we're back in the car it's hot as heck it's only 7 to 40 degrees outside but it feels hot anyway um so i got my medications and actually not they off brand um okay so they gave me um these moisturizing relief lubricant eye drops and as i understand it they also told me to buy extras too so i bought the refresh ones um and they're supposed to be single use without preservatives it don't say this ain't got no preservatives in it but I'm sure they know what they're giving me. So there's that. I got those. Um, they gave me three. Yeah, they gave me three of those. And then let's see what else I have. So I have three boxes of them. I'm gonna have to take these out the car. I don't think it could be in the heat like that. All right, so three boxes of those. And then I have, that's three times three, that's 90. So I have 90 of those. And then I think you can use the same 
little thing a thing her eye one or two drops in the affected eyes in this card okay so I probably will only need one cartridge every time I use it. But you're supposed to put eye drops in your eyes like frequently throughout the day. So at least that's what I understand uh, from other people that got the surgery done. And then I have, I bought, so I bought some extra ones on um, Amazon on the little subscribe and save. Single use, no preservative, refresh, lubricant eye drops. Um, and those are going to start coming in on May 14th. So hopefully I don't run out before then. But then I have one drop into the surgical eyes following taper schedule as directed. Flarex. What the heck is Flarex? Maybe it's to prevent my eyes from flaring up. <laughs> um, so they gave me three bottles of this Flarex. One drop into the eyes as directed. I have Vigamox. What's Vigamox? One drop in both eyes four times a day for a week. And it only gave me one. How's supposed to use this four times a day for a week? It is kind of a big bottle though. So Vigamox. And then I got some ibuprofen. 400 milligrams. Take one tablet by mouth three times a day with food for eye pain. I'm about to be jacked up. And they gave me promethazine. Take one tablet by mouth with pain reliever at bedtime. Why did they give me promethazine? Okay, I actually know why. Wait, hold up. How many tablets is this? Because, like, okay. Okay, they only gave me a few. They gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So they gave me enough for a week. Um, so I can't take hydrocodone, hydrocodine. I don't know what it's called. Hydroco, whatever, right? I can't take that because they gave it to me when I was, when I first came in. Um, I was at my technical training school back in 2012. And they took out um, five teeth. They took out all four of my wisdom teeth. And then they took out one over here in the back like in between my last tooth and the tooth in front of that they took that one out um as well and um they gave me hydrocodone hydrocodine um for the pain and that shit did not sit well with me like my stomach was hurting i was throwing up it just it was not good for me so um ever since then every time i've gotten something done i told them i can't i'm allergic to it don't give it to me i can't take it so um let's see my next major surgery after that would have been my c-section when i had kayla back in 2013 and they gave me Indoset, but I was at an off-base hospital. But they gave me Indoset, and then um, my next major surgery after that would have been when they put this tooth back in. So they gave me a fake tooth back here that they uh, put in for me. And I don't remember what medicine they gave me for that. I know they gave me some Tylenol 3s, and they might have given me... I don't know what's Vicodin they might have given me Vicodin or Percocets or some off-brand I don't know what they gave me but I know they gave me another high like um like high dosage pain medication and then the next time I would have needed pain meds nope I think that's it Yeah, I can't think of no other time when I've asked for pain, when when I've had to get pain medication, but um, they don't give me that no more. I know that much. So now I gotta go find some place to eat that takes Apple Pay because I left my wallet on the desk and I ain't trying to go all the way back to get my wallet. I don't want to walk out the car. And... Who take Apple Pay? Um, okay, so boom, got my medications right. Boom, bow, pow. Um, Tomorrow we're gonna to do the pregnancy test, then we're gonna go in for the surgery after that. Uh I feel like I wanted to tell y'all something else.
but I don't know what that something else is. So I'm just gonna go get some lunch. Okay, so update two. Um, yesterday I picked up all of my medications. Today's Tuesday. Um, if I'm looking like off to the side, it's cause I'm looking like at myself <laughs> on my phone and my camera is way over here on my phone. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm going to grab um, my pregnancy test now. Well, not grab it, but I'm gonna go take a pregnancy test at the lab right now. Um, I, I, I forgot to take my vitamin C this morning and like, I just, I just all of a sudden fell off with my vitamin C. So um, I hope that ain't an issue. I hope they can't tell because apparently they can tell everything by looking at your eyes. But um, yeah, I fell off my vitamin C a little bit. I ain't took it for like, I just ain't be taking the right amount first of all, because eight is just too goddamn many and I be forgetting. But I didn't take, I don't think I took any yesterday or I took four yesterday, uh, but I didn't take my four for this morning. At any rate, we are finna go get this test done. Um, and then the surgery is on Thursday. So tomorrow's Wednesday, I have a pretty busy day. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a pretty busy day to, tomorrow at work, um, getting some stuff done. But then Thursday, is the day of surgery. I have to be there at 6.45 on Thursday. So I just spoke with Daniel because Caleb's bus doesn't leave until 6.30. Um, and so he ain't gonna be able to, I have to be there at 6.45 for the briefing. He's not gonna be able to, to drop me off and do all that other stuff. So what we're gonna end up doing, I think is I'm just gonna drive myself there for the briefing in the morning. And then, um, and then yeah, I'm gonna, he can come catch up with me or whatever when I get my actual surgery, which is not scheduled until 8.30. Um, at least that's the time that I have. The time that I have says 8.30. But then I was talking to a captain that got hers done and she was like, basically she was like in a lineup like of people that was getting the surgery done the same day and they decided to do hers last. So she waited around for a few hours while everybody else got theirs done. Um, <laughs> I was like, what? Like, no, mine's at 8.30. Like, my time is 8.30. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but I guess we're going to find out on Thursday. But at least um, it gives Daniel some time to do the regular getting ready with the kids and getting them on the bus and stuff while I um, make my way here for the consent briefing or whatever the heck it's called at um, at 6.45. Cause technically I gotta be here at 6 30. It's gonna be an early day on Thursday and I'm just not ready. So anyway, let's go inside. Okay, so today is Thursday, it's surgery day. The camera probably looks crazy because again, I'm on my phone, I'm on the front, the front camera and it's dark. So I only got on my little car lights, but anyway. Um, so it is 6.14 right now. Um, my briefing, my little consent briefing is at um, 6.45. So I was planning to be there at 6.30, but there is some gate traffic right now because Thursdays are graduations. And so um, y'all don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Thursday, the gate be crowded, okay? So um, it's gonna take me a little bit to get onto the base. But um, yeah, so I got dressed this morning. Um, I have on this little wine, wine to water sweatshirt. And I have on some Nike, um, what's these things called? Sweatpants. Um, and just some comfortable tennis shoes and socks. Um, and I have on a sports bra because I wanted to be comfortable. Um, I did not do my hair last night. I did not. This four year update thing, gonna just, it's going to be, it's, it going to have to be what it is because I didn't get to do my hair. I fell asleep last night. 
So I just brushed it into um, ponytail with a little side part and then I put on a, a headband and I have it in a very loose low bun back here. Um, and then you're not supposed to wear any fragrances or jewelry or anything. So I took my earrings out, which is why I look like a little boy. I got off my necklace um, and I only moisturized my face. I didn't do my whole skin routine because I didn't want all the extra oils and stuff like that. So all I put on was the moisturizer. I'm using the Fresh Lotus, um, Lotus moisturizer. I don't know what it's called, but it's the Lotus one from Fresh. So I'm using that right now. Um, and I just put on a little bit all over my face and then um i just kind of like skipped over my eyes i didn't put on any eye cream um because even though it's not technically fragrant i still don't want like them to be trying to pull my eye down and it's slipping and sliding because i'm moisturized so i just put on a little bit of moisturizer everywhere else just all over my face and skip my eyeballs um and yeah, that's it. So hopefully it doesn't take me too much longer to get into this gate. I still got 15 minutes to be 15 minutes early. Um, and the line isn't moving that badly. So I'm going, I am going through a different gate though. Like norm, this ain't, normally I would go through the gate by medical, but that gate is super backed up right now because that's where the visitor center is. And these people don't be having passes. So I'm going through the gate on the opposite side, which means that I gotta go all the way around the whole big ass motherfucking place to get to where I need to be now because I'm on the wrong side of the road. So I gotta go over the bridge to get back to this side of the road. Um, at any rate, I'll be early. So uh, I'll see you guys when I get there.
I'm finally done and Daniel did get to record it so you guys see it um, I ended up getting smiled they said that from the three LASIK P PRK and smile it didn't matter which one I got because my eyes weren't terrible which I would disagree but that's what they said so I chose smile because it was a little less invasive they didn't have to cut anything off and they wouldn't have to have put on a contact and remove it or anything like that so um, uh, why I get there first? I got there. I was the first person in there at like 6.30. What time is it? 12, it's 12.23. I was the last person to get done in there. That shit blew my mind. I don't know how they, they did their little line. But I should not have gotten there first. Early as hell. And then gone dead ass last. Um, but the actual procedure didn't take very long. Did you record the whole thing? It didn't take long at all. Um, it was very quick and I didn't feel anything except for um, after the laser part, he was like, the doctor was like doing something on my eye. It felt sharp, like whatever tool he had was sharp. And I could feel him like touch it the first time. And he was like dragging it around my eye. Um, but then in, in the left eye, I didn't feel anything at all. So, and I, I feel like he was a student. I think he was a student. <laughs> he was not Dr. Rogers, that's for sure. And that's who I was supposed to have. I think she was just standing in the back and he was doing it. I hope that wasn't his first time, but uh, I could definitely tell that he wasn't fully certified. But anyway, um, they changed my medication because, um, because I got a different procedure. So we're gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna take all my medications and hopefully I'm able to survive this. I have to go to sleep after we eat. 
All right, bye. All right, so it is like 7.30 right now. Um, we got home, went to in and out get some burgers, and we got home around like one o'clock. Um, so I put in some eye drops um, at about like 12.45, one, over still in the car, I put in all my eye drops, and then um, we ate, and then I took my Motrin, I only took one, of, or ibuprofen, I only took one ibuprofen, and I took one of the promethazine, and I took a nap. Um, I woke up about 5.30, 5 o'clock-ish, so it was about roughly a four-hour nap. Um, so I took the nap. My eyes, there's no pain. Um, obviously, they look okay, like they don't look crazy. Um, yeah, there's no pain. They don't hurt. They're actually not dry. They're a little bit scratchy, but it feels like um, when a dirty contact or like when your contact is flipped inside out, it only feels like that. Um, so the scratching is not bad at all either. It's very bearable. And my vision is very, very good. Um, it, it feels very liberating to like not have glasses and not have contacts on, but my vision is very good right now. Um, and my eyes are not dry at all. Like they do not feel terrible. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more eye drops in because the last time I put them in was at 5.30, it's about 7.30. So I need to put in um, one of the specific eye drops every two hours while awake. Um, and then the other eye drop I'm supposed to take four times a day, but I think I'm gonna put it in um, now or maybe in another hour, but that'll only be three times a day before I fall asleep. I'm gonna put it in now. Um, and then the um, the eye drops, the refresh eye drops that I'm supposed to put in every like five to 10 minutes, I've been awake and I only put them in at the beginning. Um, when I put in my other eye drops, I've, I've been awake for the two hours now and I haven't put them back in. Um, but that's because my eyes are not dry. My eyes feel really, really good. They feel great. Um, moisturized and lubricated and all that. So um, I'm going to just press and keep with the day. Um, probably put in, increase the refresh eye drops throughout the end of the day, though, because I don't want my eyes to dry out. So I'm going to increase them throughout the, the rest of this night up until I go to bed um, instead of just kind of laying off of them. I want to make sure that I get them in. Um, and then I'm going to take some more vitamin C. So I'm going to take the 500 mgs of vitamin C, which is four big ass gummies. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably do eye drops again around nine. And then the final time, if I'm not asleep by nine, a final time around 11. So um, we'll see. But yeah, my eyes try to look good. I can see and stuff. It's liberating. It's going to take a while to adjust to the face. Um, I've been wearing contacts forever. So y'all seen me like this for a very long time. But um, because I've been wearing my glasses, you know, the magnifying and the coloring is off. Uh, my eyes are probably also probably look kind of like swollen and stuff like that from the clamps. But these bags got to go. They got to go. <laughs> anyway, oh, and I, I really think the bags are like eyeglass related. I don't even know right now, but they got two weeks to clear up and I need to be natural beauty, no bags, done. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's the update. I'm gonna go put in some more eye drops right now. And I'll see y'all probably tomorrow and give y'all another update because I have an eye appointment at 7 a.m. It better be at 7 and not at no damn waiting 5 hours because they didn't put other people in line. So hopefully um, at 7 a.m. the appointment's there and get done. And then probably just chill for the rest of the day. I don't know. We'll see what we do tomorrow.